So now I'm on my way to get my uh, tattoos. Here to the right, it's raining. And yeah, I'm excited, uh, nervous, but yeah. I'm happy. Here's the tattooing studio. Oop, I got rain on my lens, but here it is. I'm done getting my tattoo, and now we're just eating donuts. <laughs> we waited for like half an hour for these donuts. Yeah, we literally waited for 30 minutes. But, they're good. I can't lift my arm because it's tattooed. What do you think about the donuts? <laughs> they're good, I'm taking my next one. Yeah, I'm back at my apartment, and I'm just like so happy because I finally have a tattoo that I'll show you in a minute. But like, I wanted that tattoo since I was like literally eight, like ten years ago. And now I finally have it. I'm just really happy. Like, yeah. And the tattoo is really personal to me. Because actually I got two of them. Yeah. My hair's a mess. But that's okay. Sometimes. Here's the tattoos. Um, this one. If it will focus, this one is written in mom's uh, handwriting and it's in Norwegian but in English it's uh, it means like basically soulmate. Like this is another word for it uh, that my um, grandma used to call me when she talked about me. In English this is big hugs from grandma in grandma's handwriting. Um, yeah, so both of these tattoos are in... Uh, honor of her. I'm really happy and emotional and just fucking hyped. I, I like tattoos finally. So, these are for her. Ignore the mess in the background. I just got home. Yeah, I miss her. Ooh, I switched places. I don't know if I like this light isn't that good. I'll just go back. It didn't really hurt as much as I thought. It was just like, you know when you were sewing and the needle hits your finger and you're like, ouch, that kinda stung. It was like that feeling, just a little bit less hurtful, if you know what I mean. Um, but I sweat quite a lot. Uh, but yeah, it was fun. So my wife who was with me, she sat on the bench and I started sweating from the uh, from my hairs. And then she was like, <laughs> you're sweating. I was like, I know. And I didn't want to film when the, the tattoo artist was uh, tattooing this because of respect because I don't want anyone to film me when I'm writing poetry you know like you know you know what you know what I mean uh, hi hello it's next day and um, I wanted to like film the process of uh, the healing process of the tattoo too and uh, and here's the tattoo now, I'll turn on some light. Um, here's the tattoo. The ink that uh, like didn't fit in is like on the outside, which is why it looks kind of blurry, but it's uh, totally normal. Um, and now I'm supposed to take off this plastic bandage thingy. Now I'm removing the plastic bandage and it's taking time. It's stuck in there, but um, I'll get it off, hopefully. So finally I've gotten the uh, bandage off. Now I'm gonna wash it with that soap. It's a no perfume, uh, mild, uh, sensitive to skin soap thing. Now I've washed the tattoo, um, the tattoos, uh, it's plural, two tattoos. Um, but anyways, I washed it. And I just rubbed the soap in, after I applied water, I rubbed the soap in circular motions. And then I just uh, washed it off with uh, lukewarm water. Right now I smeared this uh, lotion ointment uh, thingy on the tattoos. Um, so they won't get uh, like really dry, really dry or you know irritated this is um this one's name Beppa I don't know it exists in Scandinavia I don't know about uh, the US and the UK and stuff but I've heard it's really good